Hey, problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today we're going to learn about degrees, minutes, seconds, how to convert from DMS, how to convert from DMS to a decimal, and how to convert back from a decimal to de degrees, minutes, seconds. Uh, really useful in navigation and also trigonometry. To start with, everything's based on the Cartesian coordinate system. If you're talking about trig, that's x, this is y. You rotate counterclockwise, and one full revolution is 360 degrees, represented with that circle up there. One degree is equal to 60 minutes, and then one minute is equal to 60 seconds, just like a clock. If you're talking about navigation, this is north, south, west, and east, and then you ro rotate clockwise off of north, just different systems. In trigonometry, it's x, y, and you rotate counterclockwise off of x. So let's say I have five degrees, 20 minutes, 10 seconds, and I wanna convert that into a decimal. Well, this is 10 of 60, so this is the equivalent of five degrees, 20, and 10 sixtieths of a minute. I do 10 divided by 60. So I go 10 divided by 60 and I get 0.167. So that means I have five degrees, 20.167 minutes, or that's 20 of 60. So I don't wanna lose my significant digits here. So I keep that on my calculator. I add 20 to it, and now I have 20.1667. Right, those are the 10 minutes, and I'm going to divide that number by 60, and it gives me 0.336. So that gives me 5.336 degrees. Okay, let's go from a decimal to degrees, minutes, seconds. Um, to do that, let's say I have 125.35 degrees. This is 0.35 of a degree. I want it to go to minutes. So I'm going to have 125 degrees. I'm going to take that 0.35 on my calculator. 0.35 multiply it by 60 this time instead of dividing by 60 to get 21 minutes. Or let's say, let's do another one. Let's say I have... 51. I don't know, one, two, six degrees. I'll do the same thing. It's going to be 51 degrees. I'll take that 0.126, multiply by 60, and get 7.56. So that'll be 7.56 minutes. Storing all the significant digits here, I'll just subtract seven. So I have 0.56, and again, I'll multiply that by 60 and get 33.6 seconds. I'll round up to get 34 seconds. So that's how you convert from decimal to DMS, degrees, minutes, seconds, and back again. Let me just show you one more thing. If you were asked to find, let's say, a reference angle, um, so what is your reference angle, and you were given, I don't know, let's see, 172 degrees, 30 minutes, well, I know that angle is a second quadrant angle right here. The way I would find the reference angle, positive acute angle to the x-axis, is I would subtract that from 180 degrees. So I go 180 degrees minus 172, 30. Uh, I have zero minus 30, I can't do that. So I need to borrow one degree from here to make this 179 degrees, 60 minutes. Now I could have 60 minutes minus 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 179 minus 172, seven degrees. So that would be my reference angle here. Let me do one more. So let's say I was given an angle of 151 degrees, 23 minutes, and I don't know, let's say 42 seconds. Again, that's the second quadrant value over here. My reference angle is this red angle here. 
to find this, I would do 180 minus that. So I have 180 degrees minus this. 180 degrees, zero minutes, zero seconds, that doesn't work. So I have to borrow one degree from this to get 179 degrees, 60 minutes. 60 minus 23, I could do that, but I still have zero minus 42. So I have to borrow one minute from this to get 59 minutes, 60 seconds. And I can see that's an equivalent because 60 seconds makes one minute. 60 minutes makes one degree, 180 degrees. So now I have 60 minus 42, 18 seconds. 59 minus 23, 36 minutes. 8, 28 degrees, 36 minutes, 18 seconds. All right, hope that helped. Hit that like button if it did.